Hi Jens, welcome back to my sort of techie tip channel. Um, I'm here to now show you how to install Team Viewer. It's a remote control software that allows you to remote control PC. So if you're actually an IT uh, professional or a consultant and you're looking to control lots of clients' PCs so you can actually support it from one location from your own desktop. Or maybe you're actually working from home and you support a lot of clients um, IT wise and you want to actually remote control their PCs from where you are. So you can do so you can do doing software installs, fixes, and things like that. Obviously, you won't be able to do hardware fixes with this, but more for the software side. So this is how you do it. Um, I'm going to install this onto a PC. This is Win a Windows 7. Team Viewer is available for all all makes of OS, uh, especially Mac and PCs, and all uh, from Windows 7 right up to Windows 8 and stuff. And you can also install this on servers. So this is going to be the host install, and I will do a, a video tutorial on the actual. Um, install where you actually control it from so this is wh what you need to do if you want to control a PC so this is the host hosted so on here you'll go to www.teamviewer.com and you get this nice web browser up here with a lovely lady pointing at the box saying called team viewer so from here you click on the download button and it will then take you to the download page it will, will automatically recognize your OS so if you're running Linux it will actually bring up the Linux page if you're on a Mac it will bring up the Mac tab but also I'm on Windows it's showing Windows it is available for mobile so you can actually remote mobile remote mobile phones and stuff team view full version is the full version you would actually manage the client end from which I'm going to do this in a later in a tutorial but for the moment we just want to use this as a host so what you need to do is scroll down um, a little bit and then what you're looking for is full un unattended ha access team viewer host so this is the part you need to um, install so you can customize the, the host install so you can actually have your own logos and name put in there but for the moment we're just going to keep this very basic and very simple so if you guys out there just literally at home or remote control your parents PCs to help look after them for them uh, that you can also be used for this it could be used for many many things so here we're going to download the new version version 10 so we click on that and it'll download the file which then you then double click to run and uh, then it should open this box up now click on run which is safe and it'll be presented with this screen here so you can say show advance but you don't have to so we'll just keep it simple I we'll go next uh, accept terms and conditions the license agreement that's fine and, here, and it'll start installing the software but then after that it'll ask you for a custom page if you already have a, a, a login um, account for TeamViewer then it'll ask you for those details then it will, what it will do is automatically add this machine to your existing uh, login details so that when you load the manager up it already feeds it in there but um, for this one we do it the other way around so set up antenna access click next and here it asks you what you want to call this PC so this is what the name you would want to call it when it's actually sat in your manager window with other machines in there so for the moment we're going to install this um, as um, a zero two. So, uh, so if you net, if you on a if you are a consultant on a network and you've got lots of, lots of these to install, then you you can name them from like I know PC one, PC two, PC three, or the names of the PCs, or even if the users are on it all the time, it's their own PC they use every single time. Then you can do it by the person's name, so you know which machines which and stuff. But also in a larger network, the machines will be obviously have different names uh, on the side to identify each one. Then you might have then a printed map of the layout of the PCs and where they are, and then you'll just write them down so you know which one you're accessing. So the computer name, so we type in a computer name. The password bit is not password to the PC, it's literally a password to secure the host connection to the manager client here. So here you'll put in a nice secure password that you basically want to um, uh, use. It's, it's nothing to do with the PC, access, the PC user's access at all, just a completely separate password. So we're going to just put a password in here, make sure it's nice and secure because um, this will generate a unique number which identifies this PC and with, with that password it allows you to connect to it so if you do actually um, say for instance you've got a piece of software like Sage on there for instance and you can't support it and you need Sage to dial in then you can give team view, Sage team viewers a uh, number and you can give them the password and they can actually connect to this PC same time as you so you can see watch what they're doing on the install bit so it works quite well with lots of other different vendors dialing in and, and sorting problems out so you may be there for supporting the, the desktop side but you may not 
know or some of the software that, that may have a support package with somebody else then you can give them sort of shared access to it as well so keep these passwords um, please remember and write them down as well the machine name is more just for you to identify what it is uh, but in the background it will generate a unique ID number so click next from here if you already have a team viewer access so if you already watched one of my other tutorials on how to set up a team viewer account then from here you will then say I already have a team viewer uh, account then you would type in the username and password okay um, for this tutorial um, I will just say create uh, I don't have an account don't don't have a don't want to create an account now so click next so this is the unique number that you need to write down so that this is the one you need um, to set to say that's what the machine is called from TeamViewer and then you click finished this will then display this um, tab here because I've actually run done this from a terminal server um, it's actually told me I've got an enhanced multi-user support active um, this is the unique name so this is the bit you need so if you ever um, forget the user ID and number and stuff and the, and the user sitting at the PC you can uh, if I click this off and close this window down you can actually just go down the bottom and it always displays in the clock part here as this like blue icon here if you hover over it it'll tell you the, the actual um, unique ID which you can see there team viewer than the number itself or you can actually right mouse click on it and say show status and it always display that so you get that off the client itself you type that in your manager and um, the password click OK and it will connect, connect you directly to team viewer so that's TeamViewer host installed. It's as simple as that. Give it a quick reboot to make sure it's actually all active. And uh, the good thing about TeamViewer, when you're in the manager mode um, and you install the manager, you can see when these pe these pieces are rebooted, whether they're switched off or powered on, and you can then remote onto them. The user always will know when you connect because a box TeamViewer box will appear by the clock to say who's logged in. So if there's more than one of you supporting that client then obviously you are logging with different names so your name will appear so they always know you are connected you can't connect to this without doing a silent install so they can't you can't connect to a PC without anybody um, noticing you're not because it always displays that box so um, that way the users know you're on or off, off the connection it logs every connection so this this machine will create a log um, file itself so if we go into here you can say open log file and uh, it will actually create a log entry in here which you can double click on and it'll show all the sessions that get connected to um, the um, uh, PC the time and date and who connected to it how long you was on there for and when you logged off so if the user says I've had some sort of remote access on, on my PC um, I'm not quite sure who's connected then you can then dial in on the log file there and check and see who was the last person that logged in on that PC um, so you can see whether anybody's sneaking on there without your knowledge. As long as you keep the password safe and the ID number safe, um, no one else out out on the internet should know it, and it is very very secure anyway. So that's to do team viewer host that's installed on the PC. It's simple as that. Keep following my website, subscribe to me, and uh, I'll keep updated with all the updates and how to do other bits within that. We'll cover security issues. We'll cover uh, a VPN type connection, secure the connection even even better. And, and we'll just cover everything that TeamViewer does for you. So that's TeamViewer installed, that's um, version 10. And speak to the next one. Don't forget, remember to subscribe, any comments, put them below, and I'll get back to you.